I am on my way to Bloom by myself guys like this is my first time driving long distance it's my first time driving outside of my province and like outside of um now sprayed because yeah that's the only city i've ever driven in it's gonna be interesting i'm really quite scared because the route i'm taking um i'll have to go through Joburg via this route net and i've never driven in Joburg. and i don't know man Joburg roads are intimidating they're not like other city roads they're not like nelspreet roads they're not like bloemfontein roads so i feel like once i'm in Joburg, i'll be grand like once i pass Joburg, i'll be grand and I don't have to stress about anything. I made a stop at like a Caltex garage. I don't need to fuel up. Um, I just stopped to set up the camera and say hi. And yeah, this is my long distance trip to Bloom. Right now, this car is a little cozy, like just a little. Let me give you guys a mini car tour. On the passenger side, I have this bag. And then I also have these tissues. Um, they were in my bag but I took them out because I was eating and and then also have this lip gloss that I want to put on now after eating this apple and then down there I have ink and I only realized after I left that my dad gave me the wrong ink that one is 110 he was supposed to give me 210 but whatever and then in here I have food that my mom prepared for me that is sanitizer and then these are my sandals in case I get tired of wearing these um sneakers i had to get like this whole um thing to hold my phone while i drive so that you know i can see the gps properly and don't have to like put my phone somewhere also i have five hours left depending on how Joburg traffic treats me but i have five hours 50 minutes left until i get to bloom and then on this side um I just have my wallet because I just passed the toll gate now now and then I also have this small sanitizer and then I have these lens wipe thingy this lens wipe thingy and then I also have a face mask and then I have my case for my glasses because I am wearing glasses now i'm at my favorite stop i think this is everyone's favorite stop when they use this road i'm at alzu what time is it it's like eight minutes to nine um i think this is where i'm gonna get drinks and like snacks and whatnot and then i'm also gonna like look around because i just like looking around even though i've seen everything <laughs> that is like yeah i do enjoy cruising and like walking around and stuff
that she'd stay on the N12, so I'm gonna stay on the N12. I'm driving in the middle lane because then I won't know where I must go after this. Like, do I turn this side or this side? You know what? I'm not mad at this person for driving super slow, like this person in front of me. I understand, you know, it could be our first time, Jay, the both of us driving in Houting Road. And I'm not even in Joburg yet, yes. Guys, people on the middle lane are literally driving 60 kilometers per hour. Like, what is that? What is that? When I got here, I wasn't tired. Now I'm tired. My battery died on my way here. So I got here and I charged it and it's been charging. It only got full. I don't know when it got full. When I went to go remove it from the charger, it was already full. But I got here safe and sound, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm so tired. I got here safe and sound. Which is really nice. I don't know if you can see from the background, but I'm not in the same room anymore that I was last year. I'm actually so happy I moved out of that room. I don't miss it. Some of my stuff that I left here in Bloom is with Mosa. So as soon as she gets back, she's gonna text me and then I'm gonna go get it and then I'm gonna come back. I don't know if I'll pack. Like I'm actually so tired. Um I have so many of these cookies that I baked with my mom. Diane is over there. This is hand sanitizer. I'm going to use it to refill into this bottle and another bottle of mine. But basically, this is one bag. This is the other bag. And then, random stuff. I came with Acha because I love Acha. And, yeah. Hey, guys. Um, so... Yeah, uh, yesterday I was very tired, like, carrying all, like, everything, the boxes, the bags, everything up here was a lot. And then I officially felt trained and tired. So as soon as I got everything in the room, I slept. So today is obviously the following day. I need to get settled in. I need to pack everything. I don't even know where to start. But I've started a little. This room is a mess. I need to wash my bedding. The bedding that I left here last year. Sitting from my bed. This is the mess that I have to deal with. started cleaning up, packing, doing as much as I could. Obviously there's a lot to do. I haven't opened up my boxes but I've taken everything out of the bags that I had. <sighs> They're 
exciting. And I've sort of packed the clothes that I went home with in there. And then I put like my containers up there. And then I also put some stuff up there. And then I also have a few things over here. And then I want to go wash those things in there because that's my bed and I have to sleep on it tonight. So I want to shower, go wash those things. Um, actually shower, go to spa, get laundry detergent, um, go wash them at front of it. And then, and then what? Oh, and then go to Mimosa to music. Apparently they're having like a sale because they're closing down. So I want to see if I can get maybe like a longer HDMI cable or like an SD card or something of that sort. But yeah, guys, my energy is really off. It's been off for like the past two days. So I don't know if that's going to reflect on this vlog. If it reflects, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you don't need negative energy in your life. But like... Yeah, I've just been feeling I've just been feeling sad and like out of place and I've been feeling like uncomfortable. I don't know how to really describe it, but it's it's not a nice feeling. Oh, and then I'm also gonna go wash the car. I wanna go wash the car today. Cause I couldn't find a place to wash it yesterday. So hopefully today I actually find a place to watch it. I was watching Real Housewives of <laughs> of Durban. I actually like it. I like it a lot and obviously Ayanda is my favorite <laughs> mm, and Sarisha she's so sweet but yeah I'll see you guys later so I'm about to leave it's actually one o'clock I've been doing everything so slow procrastinating but I'm about to go and do what I said I was gonna do girl is back and she did everything she said she was gonna do i literally almost gave up on getting a car wash because i went to two places where they wash cars and they were both like we're not taking any more cars i was just like that is so sad but then on my way home i drove past engine and then i saw that there's a car wash there and then i went to mimosa and i went to musicani because of that cell thingy that I told you guys about and I bought this HDMI cable it's like five meters long and it's it cost a hundred rand which is a good thing because the one I have now is like one meter long and that means I won't be able to take my laptop from there to my bed or even my table like when I use my laptop when I connect my laptop to the TV it'll have to be here so I'm lucky I got this one and I'm so happy I got it at Musica because I went to another store saw how much it cost and I was like I think it was like 300 and something for like a five meter long one I was like it's really like crazy and then I got handy Andy to clean up around here while I get settled in and then my god what's this detergent we don't call it detergent in south africa what do we call it washing powder i got washing powder to wash my clothes not clothes um begging so yeah i'm actually it's actually so late guys it's so late i need to come finish up so i can start focusing on school you know reading my emails whatnot but and get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow it's like the first day of school basically so i'm about to do the dishes like i was about to do the dishes now i'm still gonna do them but like i just noticed that there's no drying rack in this room for some reason i didn't like pay attention to it during inspection and the person who was also doing inspection didn't like pay attention to it so i have to go tomorrow and tell them that there's actually no drying rack in this room which is like it's needed even though the space is small and whatnot.
Thank you.